managed to win in 2011. I had a bit of a sketchy start. A few riders were overtaking me on the faster bit, so I just had to be patient and uh, towards the top I managed to pull away from Johnny. But still, near the end, it was still quite a close race, so I'm expecting the same again this year. It's a unique place just because of the setting, I think. It's just a, a beautiful place and you can come here, have a bit of a holiday, enjoy yourself and then, and then just wait for the serious stuff when you're riding. in an Austrian Lederhus. This is the beach race and uh, it's one of my favourite bits of the race to be honest. I quite like it because it's fast and that but it's just a total different concept to how like hard enduro is, you know. The sand's so weird to ride in, you know, like it's always the front's always washing into the sand so you gotta lean back and just pull back and pin it. Yeah, it was tough, tough race on the beach, you know, it's so hot, so just having to push through and keep going. It was only 15 minutes plus two laps, but with the heat, it makes it hard work. We've got an hour break and then we're off to the, the forest race, so I'm going to go and try and cool down and get myself ready, re-energised for the, for the race. I couldn't believe it when he caught me up. I thought it was like Galindo or something. I made a mistake, he passed me, and then he made a mistake, I passed him. And then all the way down here we battled, so it was good. Some kids had made us a jump pit as well, so that was cool. Yeah, we were racing, but I think with back of our minds, we know the big race is tomorrow, so we're perhaps saving a bit of energy for that. 